Hey there, Power Appers. This is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works. ChatGPT is all the rage, and it helps us cheat on our homework, uh, send messages to people, send out emails, and now we can even cheat on building applications and build them much, much faster. So stay tuned. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how do we integrate ChatGPT into our application. We're going to use a few ways. We'll generate some tables with ChatGPT. We'll also talk about how, how we turn it on at a feature level also. Now, I've already signed up for the preview. And at the time of the record, you're watching this recording, it may not be required to sign up for the preview, but I'll put the link to that preview in the description of this video. Once done, though, let's go ahead and jump over here and see what the environment looks like. I'm going to hit the gear box up top, and as an administrator in the admin center, you can decide, do you want to turn this on for your tenant or not? Now, the goal of this is to reduce the amount of time it takes to build an application. You already have this from an integration with Power Automate today, where you can describe the type of flow that you want built, and it will go out there and build that flow with all of its details for you, and all you have to do is take it the last mile. This has reduced the amount of errors immensely from building flows, and you can build it faster. So less errors, faster to build. We'll do the same thing in Power Automate, but a few restrictions you're going to have around it. As of time of this recording, you, it will only work on a single table. So you'll, you'll start with a single table, and then you'll add your other tables to it as time goes on. It also has some limitations as far as what kind of things it can do, and we'll see that in a moment, what kind of columns it can create and all that. But what it's going to do is it's going to go out there, interrogate its massive wealth of information about how people are building these kind of applications, and then log that for us. So let's go ahead and look at this now. So as I look at the admin center, if I'm a Power Platform admin or a global admin, I, also, I should see the settings button over here. If you don't have that, it's because you're not one of those two roles likely. Then you'll see Copilot Preview right up top. Select that and flip that toggle to true. Now this might take it a few minutes to kick in after you do it, but you'll know you're kicked in when you see this bar going across your app here. This bar is saying, hey, what do you want to build today? And that's what we're going to do next. So I want to tr have an application to track my um, library of books, perhaps, and, and who has it checked out, maybe. So I'll say, I want an app to track uh, who has checked out a book. All right, there we go. Hit enter, and we'll give it a few minutes to do its thing. I'll take get rid of my picture so you can see the full interface now. Now, this will take a few seconds. ChatGPT is not known for its expediency here, but after it comes back, you'll be able to see a checked out date, check in date, return date, all that, uh, checked out by. Uh, I can then add other goodies here as, all, as well. Like I may want to go in here and say, add an author column. When I hit enter, it'll go out there, think about that, and then hopefully now, we'll get a new column right here with our author, author column. We can also go through and create status columns and choices and all those kind of goodies as well. There's my author column, uh, all right, there we go. Oh, it actually has real authors in there too, looks like. Now you can also hit the three dot here and see the column metadata information. You should eventually get more options here. Right now it's pretty static because it is a preview feature. We can also go through though and say, uh, add a grade level choice column. There we go. So is this book appropriate for a kindergartner or a high school or whatever? It will see it create a choice column with those options in there as well. Okay, give that a few seconds to do its thing. And there we go. Uh, oh, it's still thinking there. Now you can also ask it questions. You'll see on the left here, you can ask it questions like, um, and you can see this is the choice column, and you can actually view that column and see the choices that are allowed there as well. On the left side, you'll see a whole bunch of extra options we can do. We can say, hey, uh, add a row for this, or add 20 rows, or give me some suggestions on what you think you might want to do, uh, a chat GPT. So if I wanted to, now this has been a little bit flawed recently, you can say add another row. And when I hit enter, oh, did I spell that right? I did. So sometimes this, this one in particular prompt will give me some, um, some errors, but you can say, give me 100 rows, and back when it was working a few days ago, oh, there it goes, it added another row there. So it does do a beautiful job of that, and you can send any kind of uh, feedback you want. So if you say, add 10 more rows, it will now go out and find more books to add there. 
So this table that we're seeing right now is not necessarily been created. It's still kind of in memory, and it's not really ready to, to, to actually send it to the Dataverse yet. But when I hit create an app, it's then going to send that application to the Dataverse. There we go. Oh, and look at that. There's my rose. It actually is working now. All right, so now, as soon as it's done, I can say create the app, and it will then go out there and create. I've created numerous, dozens of apps this way, and it, it's pretty darn cool as a starting block. But again, there are restrictions right now. Uh, restrictions being uh, it has a pretty narrow band on what it can do as far as some data types, so it can't create like image columns yet. Uh, you can't make changes yet to the schema until the, t until the app has been created. Uh, now, that is going to change potentially. But right now, this is in preview right now, and this is what we have today. So once it finishes creating the app, it's going to have a two-screen application. One screen is going to be for the actual editing of the data, and the app looks pretty decent. The other screen is going to be for asking questions of your data also. That in particular feature right now in my environment is giving me errors right now, so we see the feature come up in a second. We'll see that it has some challenges there as well. Let's get rid of me for a second here so you can see the, uh, the full screen. And once that's done, uh, there it goes. It's going to start loading. Now, the last feature it has is a chat feature right inside the application for Copilot. Now, you can imagine where they're going with this. There's some really cool stuff that's going to come with this. But I can ask questions about, uh, you know, how do I add or, you know, add a button? Whoop, whoop, let me go ahead and get rid of that. Add a button, for example. And when I hit enter, it will then tell me how to go walk through and actually build that. And it gives me, you know, uh, instinctual instructions about how to actually do this. There we go. Open screen, yada, yada, yada. Right now, this is more informational, but you can imagine what kind of cool stuff is coming down the road to show us how to actually integrate ChatGP and add features in this as well. This is the piece I was mentioning before is giving us an error right now, but that's no worries. You'll be able to go through though and ask it questions of your data. And then as you ask those questions, it will come back with a chat prompt and then give you some errors right now. Something went wrong right now, but that will also work. be working here soon also. Under book checkout though, check out the application I built. Here are all my uh, different records that I have. And then I can go through and, and hit the pencil icon to make a change and then change its gray level to whatever and hit the checkbox. So that's, that's the starting block, right? And then once we have the starting block in here, on the left side, we can go to our database icon and now edit the schema and uh, actually make the permanent changes that we saw earlier. So you use the other one in memory to add columns, delete columns, and make some, some overall changes. But now we can go through and actually make changes to the data. We can change the, uh, uh, the, the labels if we wanted to, and so on and so on. So really, really handy feature. You can see there's a lot of really cool stuff coming with this. Uh, you can also see that they built a pretty decent looking application really quickly here. So it's a great starting point, and now you can add other tables to extend it. But ultimately, we built a lot of application in a very, very short time, less than five minutes. All right, hope you enjoyed this video of, of things to come. There's lots more out here as well, but this is a great starting point. Microsoft is all in on ChatGBT, and you're going to see Copilot all the route, uh, their, the, all their products as time goes on, likely. All right, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and check out our website at pragmaticworks.com. Take care.